when I'm ready? Okay. Uh, three, oh, hang on a second. Three, two, one, go. All right. All right, everyone. Uh, I'm Liquid Wi-Fi, and I'm joined by Dan, who has a paper full of notes to make sure I don't forget the route. That's right. I'll, uh, <laughs> let's see what we got here. All right. Game's done quick. Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Australian speedrun marathon, all tasks for Dan. All right. Let's talk about level one. So we have Homer 1, first level of the game. Uh, we're going to be doing some interesting exhibition -y stuff today. Uh, what Cam's going to be doing here is he's going to be doing the first couple missions and getting his hands on the rocket car, which if you've ever played this game is one hell of a vehicle. Um, so yeah, first off we go. Uh, it could be preferable but not necessary. Alright. It's crashing time! So good old Cola Caper. Pretty simple. This Cam's just going to head over to the really Quickie Mart, duck in, grab you some ice cream and buzz cola. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to make himself a bit of a spider. So, something kind of interesting about this game and tech and PCs is the variation in frame rate. Uh, if you've ever played this game on your computer and you've just stuck in the CD and gone to complete. play it, you've probably noticed that you get really weird jumps, just things are weird. So, runners actually cap this game at various frame rates, um, and you typically play at 150 frames per second, which permits him to do certain tricks. Unfortunately, this is not 150, so we'll be seeing Where this with, I, I believe you'll be these? using a lot of the tool set that runners use for a 60 frame per second oh, environment. Um, yeah, so honest, it should be interesting. Honestly, frame rate is actually preferable at this point. It's like a I'm 10 to 15, maybe 20 second difference singing. with all the different strats. Basically, okay. whichever, so whichever one a person prefers, they can just use that instead. Oh. oh, no. Oh, this racing line, I'm not sure Nothing about it. Nothing forever. Oh. Traffic is not being friendly at the moment. Okay, so let's talk about another really important thing in this run, which is your coin management. Um, at various points in this game, you will need to buy mandatory costumes. You will need to buy mandatory vehicles. So he's not just crashing into stuff because it's fun. He's crashing into stuff because it's all part of a coin route that you will need at various points in the run. So it can um, it can really come down to the wire sometimes. I'm sure you can back me up on that. So it's, it's a big part of... Uh, running through this game. It's not just about picking an optimal racing oh line for each mission. It's about knowing the right things to sort of crash into as you go. It's actually pretty fantastic in this category though because we do so much extra things than in just a regular all story missions run that we have plenty of coins for the whole run. It's quite Let's quite uh, quite lean in that regard. Also, sorry. No, no, by all means, you go. You well, go. speaking of the category, uh, this is all tasks and we define a task in the community as an objective obtained from an NPC with a completed state. So that counts all story missions, races, and vent uh, vending machines? What am I saying? All story missions, races, and bonus missions. So that's what we're going to be doing this entire run. And as a side thing for this category, we ban uh, returning to a level once it's completed because then it would just be a miniature version of 100% and adds a completely new element to this game so it's just an interesting little side effect it has. Definitely, spices up the run a bit. So speaking okay, of getting coins, one. there's obviously breaking uh, what I'm just going to call hand props. Hand so you've got your Duh, trees, you've got stuff truck. like crusty glass. Um, there's also wasps crates yeah, and vending machines. Now these ones are interesting because if no, Cam were to reload a level, which of course you're not going to be doing, but if to you were to do so, then you would notice all of the props come back and you can keep getting coins from them. Uh, the three I mentioned are interesting because they will never come back, so you want to sort of route in those ones because they give you the most coins and I mean, if you can get them, why not? That's Sorry. unfortunate. So what he was going for there was actually landing on the wasp with his car oh, to take yeah. it out. So you can Good kill wasps in a variety of ways. Look. The way you probably would have done it if you had played this casually and is just jumping and kicking. Well, but of course, you have to get out of your car for that. That's slow. There is a whole big explanation for wasps oh, that would take me about two hours to explain if I tried to. So the simplified, I say simplified, simplified version is in, a, in all levels, you can only get two wasps at a time. Um, and you'll see that I sometimes return to the main menu and I that basically resets it so I can collect two more. Really bad day. So I, I've got more of a layman's explanation, but from what I'm aware What's of, there the is a line of code that's Look incomplete. Out. Yeah, that's We'll need basically... to ask Ian about that one. Hey, <laughs> Alma! But there's an incomplete line of code, and after you've 
killed two wasps. It's meant to sort of recall their hitbox, so you can just keep getting them, and it just sort of turns it off. Yeah. You have to get out of your car and do it. It's uh, what it I'm like aware that of. when I got here. Um, so your main menu warp, and it restores that value effectively. What the heck were you yeah. thinking? We're not Take exactly that. sure what causes these things to work with. It's just a what? mystery at this point. The game is famous amongst the community for effectively having spaghetti code. It's all a mystery. It's not held together by, like, glue. Yeah, it really is. Glue and water if you are, and flour. Eat my dust! All right, so this is an interesting one. Um, yeah, something that really helps right in this game when you're trying to destroy cars. Hem is not using the Plow King, obviously, because it's faster to use this vehicle. And pedestrian cars actually can have some good speed and they can have some good uh, oomph behind them. So what he's done here is he's actually guided Smithers into a corner where he cannot path out easily. And he's using that surface to nudge him into and destroy his car really fast. So there you go. Nicely done. Just all right, we got the button jump coming up. Hardest strat in the game. We got to jump on a button. Got to get ready to pop off if he gets this, folks. <laughs> How can I sleep? It's crashing time. Marge will clean this mess right, up can later. We get it? Oh, he's got it. Oh, yeah, all right. Marge, how come I broke you? Seth well, like saves a total of things. one second. So. Right. And if you miss it, you lose five. <laughs> Stupid like a. Fuck. Definitely worth going for. Marge will clean this mess up later. So this has actually gone through a few different variations. Yeah, uh, so yes, has it? The round with these. Power actually, companies. it's kind of interesting. The only time it's changed is the like hundred percent, where you go backwards because you have to get a card uh, over there somewhere. That's so. right. Wow, finally. I oh, that was too easy. Grabbing the gag for good luck. Absolutely. Nicely it done. It gives us one coin, man. That's it. One coin. <laughs> All right, so we've got an unskippable cutscene coming up here. So if there are any donations that have come through. Thank you, Liquid. Uh, we do have $15.92 from Redemissary. Good luck on the run. I've always, I'm always willing to help support charities that focus on mental health. And let's put this towards the Shard Glitch Exhibition, which has already been met. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, Red. Appreciate it. In other unexplained news, strange black vans have been appearing all over town. Marge, that black van is spying on us. Oh, homie, you're so sexy when you're paranoid. Sweet! Alright, so here's another mechanic in the speedrun that's quite interesting. It's following-based missions. Now, if you've ever played any game that involves tailing, you're probably aware of the concept of rubber banding. Uh, if we were to let this get very, very far away, it would actually slow down a bit to give you that chance to catch up. Generally, they won't follow a static speed. That changes later. But in this mission, Cam wants to stay as close as he can to this van because it will keep moving at its maximum possible speed to try to get away from us. It takes a bit of a round here for coins, obviously, but as you can see, that green bar is staying full and he's keeping it moving as quickly as possible. And thankfully, you're... Uh, his traffic also is not too temperamental. Nice wasp. Um, obviously, oh. traffic is... <laughs> mate, mate, mate. We need to talk. He's All had right. enough. He needs to go home. <laughs> also, I'm holding camera. I'm holding the camera back here because uh, AI in this game is actually camera shy. So if you look backwards, it will, most of the time, uh, drive in a perfect line. So I'm going to slow down uh, just up here. So that I actually, he does slow down just a little bit as well. Otherwise, he'll slam into the wall directly in front of him. And from here, it should be a lot easier for him to just get all the way through. I almost got destroyed by the Wheel of Fortune. So there'll be an uh, interesting little bit of routing here. Might look a bit suspenseful if you're not familiar with the run. Uh, Cam's going to stop and grab some wasps here. And let that bar go right down. Going to, you know, optimize the coin route. So that was a nice double. Yeah, it's because I missed the one before. Like yeah. So, um, the way that AI oh, works as well when you're outside of cars, We're it actually doesn't We're slow down. One. Well, it slows down a little bit, but then it gets set to a set speed. So that's why slowing down there doesn't lose any time. So I actually have changed the route very slightly here about an hour ago. Uh, I don't know if this uh, if this will work, so let's figure it out. Piece of cake. 
So you're probably noticing that level one sort of gets you doing a variety of different objectives. It's laying the groundwork for how a lot of missions in this game are designed. And this is, uh, I never really was a fan of these ones. This is the smack a vehicle and have it drop an item and pick it up. Um, Turn it's gone drive, pretty well so far. Uh, the game can be very finicky about what is a successful collision. Um, this is, this you is almost nice. Me. Oh wow, wow. Nice. excellent stuff. That was great. So obviously, that's extremely advantageous because he can use that sort of side street to go all the way down and jump straight through, cut his racing line right down. It's, it's excellent stuff. Whoa! All right, I have to make sure I warp to the right mission away, here, otherwise it's a very bad say. thing. Oh, no. Coming through. <laughs> Who put that wall there? <laughs> Ta -da! If only... I'm king of the world! Can you come and get... All right, so he's using mission walls to his advantage here, obviously just to get right around the map. This puts him at the closest possible point he can take to go and get the rocket car, which is... It's a pretty neat reset just coming up here. So the game uses reset points. Uh, they knew that there were some issues with the code in the game, mainly that it was half missing. So they they have these good. reset points. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. That's very not good. <laughs> All right, we're All right, fine. We saved it. This is actually like the scariest point of the entire run. So if I blow up the rocket car, Three, which two, anyone who's side, played this game one. will know, it's very easy to do. Uh, I lose a lot of time, <laughs> but I also want to go fast. So rocket car is just the best car to do it with. And I'll say this right now: he makes this look so much easier than it really is. The rocket car has a famously weird hitbox and weird Out of hand, control. so it, it takes some time to get used to controlling the thing. So generally you would think having a lead in this game in a race is great, and absolutely oh, no. it is. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, we're fine. We're not smoking yet. We've got at least two hits left. And as you can see, the AI vehicles are absolutely cooked in races. Um, there's always a chance you could be running a clean lap slightly ahead. Maybe you're lapping the dude in third and fourth and they're driving, say, a school bus and they might just go absolutely ham and get right in your way. So races are not as simple as getting in first and staying in first. It's getting in first and not having some more on crash into you. Let's see if I can pull off an interesting trick here. Oh, out of control. Nice. Nice. So that actually is a lot slower. I just wanted to show it off. <laughs> It's kind of fascinating, there's a lot of tricks like that where it's like very, very slightly slower, but they look cool, so. You gotta show us some stuff. Cool oh no! Get out of my way! Alright. Mate, <laughs> mate! Take him along for mate. the ride. <laughs> I, I, let, I want off his own <laughs> no, no, wild no. ride! <laughs> this is terrible. Everyone duck! Alright, so that's our first race. As you can see, he's warping back to Bone Storm Storm because it's handy to get to the next place he needs to start race number two. Get out of my way, jerkass! Where are the police on? So that was like probably the second Must scariest never. part of Homer One. Run. Uh, the scariest Again. part is the bonus mission. It's really uh, Hello. Ugh. lots of reasons why that's the case. One, one, one. People so if you've never played this game before, Wait a minute. each character Seven represents a different kind of race. Nelson is always more? a lap-based race. Uh, Millhouse, I believe, is a time trial. And Ralph is a point-to-point -point race. So I'd, I'd probably say personally from my experience, uh, right. they're all scary for different reasons depending on what car you're in. But I find the lap-based race is the most scary just because of the chance of AI vehicles kind of being in that loop that you're in when you have that lead. Yeah, once you're ahead of the AI vehicles in this race, you just get safe, like you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, all you have to worry about is the static objects, which just learn to avoid them forehead. Which I cannot do, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, coming up on the finish line at the power plant, yeah. Alright. Oh it's all fine. Uh, it's a little foreboding. Uh, I <laughs> might get owned by traffic. Hey. Oh no. Don't, don't, don't do it. Wow, Leave I me alone. I will just, you know, take it nice and easy. Yeah, nice and easy. 
Nice. What is actually coming up on here is wow, this car sure uh, very take close a to the bonus mission and very close to the next race. So we've just got Millhouse's time trial and then the bonus mission with police. Can't you see I'm driving here? I'm just gonna pick up this wrench because I'm Where am dead. I gonna put it? Alright. Millhouse. Three, so when designing Millhouse's two, races, you'll one. notice a lot of geometry appears. They use probably my least, one of my least favorite items in the game, which are these stupid mounds of tires right here. They love to just snag your car and keep you there. They are wonderful for losing speed on. Um, could have been worse. I could have been the tires. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, clean driving is the name of the game. We could get some donations. All right, uh, we have uh, D Tops twenty four with fifty four dollars and six cents. Good luck on the run, Liquid. Do the community proud. Smiley face. Thank you, D Tops. All right, so we're on the last lap. Then. Other than that first spot, that was pretty fine. Can't complain about anything there. This is so. I am too smart. Right, so that's all the races, so now it's a matter of bonus mission, and then the remainder of the level. I mean, S-M-A-R-T. Ouch. Let's but talk about Cletus' bonus shaping. mission. Oh, boy. So when I was a kid, I found the Brocket car here, and the I thought it was fantastic. I'd use it for everything. Then I hit time. this mission. So it starts off pretty simple. You're grabbing some cardboard tubes, going around the map. Just me. The second I mean, half of the mission me. is interesting. You go to the Tamako field and have to collect a harvest. Now, on this field, there's a lot of destructible items. Now, you have that hit and run meter in the bottom right. If you've played this game, you break things, it fills up. You hit things, it fills up. There are so many breakable objects on that field, and the terrain is so bumpy and bizarre, and the hitbox on the rocket car is so awful that I would say you're going to either get very close or you're almost definitely going to get a hit and run. I didn't do it. And it's just incredibly treacherous to drive on, so... And for that reason, I'm going to be collecting them all on foot. <laughs> I, uh, all about that. So obviously, yeah. hitting things with your car, that's an instant breakage, but generally if you're on foot and you want to break something, you've got to kick it. So, nicely, uh, very easily avoided. You know, it only loses about five seconds, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I'll just pick up these ones. Look, there so was if you notice, the hit and run meter is almost full there, so it, I, I can almost guarantee that would have filled out if he kept doing it in his car. He's gonna floric, floric Never. through the flowers, Run. enjoying myself. Again. The bus wanted to get out of here. And then the rest of the mission is quite small, but solid jump. <laughs> As you can see, that meter is, it goes up quick, and it can go up without you even really noticing it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> In your face! Well, without you even noticing. So the whole reason about that route change I mentioned earlier is because we can use the rocket car for this mission. So, more rocket car. And it's also oh, really what? interesting to note how Sweet. reset points work, because this is another point where you exploit resetting your car. Don't do. Now there's this door in your way, but if you reset at the right moment, you'll sort of just go halfway through, and it turns off the collision and off you go. So what turned what would have been a massive race around the entire map against Smithers turns into a very short straight line through the power plant, straight to Mr. Burns and to the end of Homer 1. I'm a lean mean. Oh. Speed thingy. Okay. <laughs> Montgomery. I'm so talented. Wow, that's the first level down. Looking. Good stuff. So now we move into level two. Our first instance of seeing Bart. And basically the whole gimmick of this level you is Bart's trying to get a copy of Bonestorm because Marge destroyed them all. So Skinner here, Skinner is one determined Whoa, man. Wicked. He's got to find Bart, couldn't give it a truancy, like he's not happy Charlie about it. And Nam. Right so not. there's a number of Great ways zone. that, uh, right I think it's like two zone. major ways yeah. that Damn you can sort of like get rid of Skinner. Wit. Um, Woo, this nice round one. you just take your standard way of getting rid of him, oh, which is cutting through the train car, or whatever this is, this oh, little spot here. Whee! And that should just be enough to get rid of Skinner, he'll probably get snapped. It was not enough to get rid of Skinner. Like I said, one determined man. 
Alright. Because the the interiors are so far off the map, you can just enter an interior Nobody. and you'll lose them instantly. Just go back out. So part one is probably the level that gets most affected by RNG because the honor roll is actually a really slow car. And the crowd goes um, wild. It's time so for we, rage. every traffic car summer. actually is faster mine. than the honor roll. Oh, it's just the sports nice. car is uh sports car is the best one because that's the highest acceleration. And that is very nice to get. You can sit there and just Bart get garbage Simpson at that intersection, at so that service. was beautiful. Oh, this is Straight too cool for school. Car. Finding blood is easy. I'd make a great vampire. I hope this is enough. You're all mine. <laughs> that was totally awesome. What? Oh, I didn't pick that up, did I? Okay, good. <laughs> No problemo. Unfortunately, there's not actually much to talk about during this mission. Wait, I didn't just softlock, did I? Okay, good. <laughs> thought I softlocked. I guess we can talk about and sound. Uh, how bad the designers are at making a variation of mission objectives. You're gonna see if you actually like. This game is so much fun because it's just The Simpsons, right? And it's got like a good feel to it. I remember it. these but being here before. You sit down and look at the mission design. I'm pretty sure there's like three or four mission design archetypes. Sometimes they mismatch them. That's it. Did but, you have uh, any yeah, again, that's why there isn't really too much run. to talk about here. You're just going A to B, talk to an NPC, get the bag of blood, keep going. Take that! Yeah. Hey, slower traffic to the right, please. Well, part two, in terms of how you tackle its missions, is a little more interesting. It's more staggered than Home One. Uh, you're going to be seeing uh, mission Woo, race, nice mission one. race. Obviously, you've had mission give bonus give missions, so like, Whoa, a little wicked. bit more like, all over the place. You're not just doing mission, 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 and carrying on through. And the best thing about finishing this bonus mission is right after he talks to Grandpa, no, I'll just go straight to the next mission. <laughs> it's just right down the road here. So glad to be of service. Let's pick it up here. How am I gonna get that? Fine by me! So, as softlock I mentioned earlier, if I enter an interior too quickly after getting out of a car so with tired. like a fade out, like a traffic so car tired. usually, um, it'll push Bart further away from the interior door and it'll have an infinite loading screen. <laughs> So, I really don't want that to happen, so I'm just gonna like take my time entering the interior. <laughs> Once again, code held together with crazy glue, flour, and water. One buck. Sorry, bot. Eat my dust, dust eaters. Whoa, wicked. Woo, nice one. Sad day for generic characters. And... I didn't do it. Oh, us one dozen. Nice. Or, uh, um, something about picking up fireworks on foot is, uh... I believe if you do it on foot outside in the map, Bart will do like an animation. Really annoying, so like it's just great to have it picked up not only in your car, but to have them appear straight on your car, so the instant you get in, it's just picked up. You keep doing your thing and just go on your way. You might also notice I'm like heart. flicking my camera easy, back at random easy. moments. Um, just, just like, well not like the AI, window. but um, Fire when you Jay. flick your camera back, You're it despawns pedestrians in traffic, sentences. so it's just really a convenient community. to be able to do that. The law and, I won. Nice. That's the bomb. and right here is going to be our first instant, instance oh, of race man, that sucks and blows. Um, nice. New house. Basically, we're going to get outside the Three, barriers in a race. Two, this one. saves about 15 seconds, maybe a little bit less than that. Now if I reset the correct point... Nice. It'll push me right through there, and now I can just do the entirety of this race by hitting the checkpoints in just the right locations. So you'll notice on the minimap, and also visually, the uh, checkpoints are indicated by like those little circles. The actual check for those checkpoints is massive. It's the same reason why when uh, Liquid raced Smithers at the end of Promo 1, he was able to take a, a, a cut straight through to the end, and it was still registering checkpoints as it's done. There's an actual like sound cue that plays when you get them. I don't actually understand how the register register uh, the the checkpoints register in the Smithers race. It really shouldn't go out that far, they but should. apparently it does. Stop! Good work. Bob. 
All right, that was... Hey, job... No problemo! It's time for some road rage, Bart Simpson style. Alright, so my route changes depending on the RNG I get here. Wow. Nice. Shield, you know. It's alright, he got destroyed as well. Uh, yeah, route will change depending on the RNG I get here. Um, really must if I get good luck, I will be doing the race right after this mission. Out of the way, like, wanna be. Then I'll be doing it after completing the mission. Hopefully. Something interesting to note as well is Whee! when they give you race missions against opponents or just doing it as like, you know, the optional races on the map, and uh, group they increase I the, I believe, the mass of the opponent's car by a ton. So you can't be, you know, creative and just destroy the opponent's Man. car. Man. All right, there that's, we go. that's fine. Gotta work off my gut. Also, that's another soft lock that can occur there with an infinite loading screen. If I get back into my car at the same time, like after talking, then it will just, as I said, cause an infinite loading screen. Now, this mission is actually kind of scary. Don't have a cow, man. For this race, sorry. Lisa's really fast. Like, if you were to do it in the honor roller, you'd have a hard time actually completing mine. this. Mine! Oh, mine! But luckily, a sports car is quite a bit faster, so it's, it's not too bad. So this uh, sort of freeway area is really interesting later on. It's going to be another instance of abusing the game's reset system, and it is uh, it's quite a weird one, I would say. Quite weird. Not terrible. Nice. Oh yeah, I totally... So coming up here, I'm going to be attempting a trick called Dirt Jump. You got it. Um, put it simply, you can push this uh, this van all the way through the Dirt Jump uh, near the construction yard. Or the construction, yeah, construction yard. Um, if I get good luck, you should go straight through there, but sometimes it can just turn to the left and I won't have anything to do, like, except for just accept it. Like that. Oh, oh well. It only saves about seven totally seconds. Awesome. Pretty cool to look at, though. Okay, maybe it saves like 10 seconds in this circumstance. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's another thing about deloading traffic. You saw this happen with, with the black man in Homer 1, uh, when it crashed into traffic and kind of fishtailed all over the place. Woo, nice He's one. not just resetting traffic for himself, he wants to reset it so the AI gets Whoa, a clean wicked. driving line as well. Oh, no. That was the coolest. Cool thing. Now I can walk through walls. <laughs> so let's uh, let's go talk to Wiggum. Hey, Sprinkle. And uh, let's go talk to Snake now. Children weren't meant to get this much exercise. And <sighs> just give me a sec Warp. to catch my breath. <laughs> oh, see you, Snake. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Snake. Once again, that's actually slow. I just want to show it off. Wicked. Here's an instance of abusing a reset. We're just going to turn around here. Screw this race. Oh, hang on. So if you reset shortly after one of these sort of like steel girders, then you go straight up here. It's bizarre, but that is the closest reset point that the game notices, and it just takes you straight there, and you absolutely end up demolishing Snake. Poor dude. Why, I oughta... Whoa, wicked! Careful, I bruise easily. Yeah! Oops. Now to find a satellite dish. Who has those any... 
All right, now we're going to be chucking in another race just into the route. And that'll be it for the all tasks portion. Then we Energy. just have to complete the rest of the level, I believe. That's right. Three, sight, two, and This is another instance sight, of Lisa being fast and one, also another instance of go. cars having a whole lot of extra mass gear being given to them for races. Lisa is terrifying oh, cool, in this yeah, race. Yeah, I totally in my she can Great. come now out of I'm nowhere losing. and T-bone you hey, and just you were to ruin your run of the race. What's my name? Booyah. It's quite funny you too because often cheater. cars will just get Woo, stuck around nice this one. area. Yeah. It's turned into a miniature destruction derby. Oh, now come on. Don't forget to ride. Aw, loser. So it's looking pretty good. Um, it doesn't seem like Lisa's going to be too much of an issue from here on out anyways. But yeah, like I said, when you start to loop around, when you've got opponent vehicles with such a high amount of mass, it's uh, it can be nerve-wracking. Keep happening. First the traffic light, now the lamppost. <laughs> Perfection. All right, so as I mentioned before, going back to the main menu resets the uh, the wasps collision. So if I just go back and then jump back in, I'll be able to collect two more wasps without having to get out of my car. I'm going to do that again at the hey end there, of this Mr. mission. Bart Simpson at your service. only time you'll be seeing this but there's as you can notice a sort of implied route a bit of a breadcrumb trail of roadkill that we have to follow here uh you're gonna notice though that Ken's gonna be skipping a bit of it and coming back for it it's oh, really all it is but it's just kind of cool. it, there's wasp number one move it land cow one of the perks of Cletus's truck is that it sucks in almost every way except for Don't its hitbox for killing three. wasps it's <laughs> massive absolutely gigantic Don't worry, that stuff heals fast. All right. Oh. Nice. There's a cycle there with the train. You've got to watch it and make sure you get it. Like, what you do earlier on in that run will dictate whether or not you get a good train car cycle there. So, thankfully, that was rather clean. Oh, I so you can get a fast escape or, or a slow escape here, yeah. and sometimes you don't escape at all because sure Cletus is like a jerk, so. I all you can do is pray and hope. Usually no this should be fine, so. this Oh, I, I spoke too soon. Oh no. It's okay, there's a backup for this. But I needed those coins just because I missed a block sooner. Yeah. But uh, we should be fine if he follows me in here. You got real or he's gonna spin around in circles. Just put some butter on the wound. All right, It'll let's, be just, fine. let's just attempt this again. <laughs> Watch yourself. Take oh, that. Not the detailing. He is having he no is mercy. No mercy. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen Alfu this mad. <laughs> All right, this should be fine. So I can just drive out here, and unless he's a god, real I should fine. escape him. Killer. Please, thank you. Rusty <laughs> Burgers, how about a hard one next time? Give it up for America's I got a bit, I got a bit scared. That was, that was unfortunately a bit messy, but it goes to show how crazy the AI can be sometimes. You expect... So coming up is the best song in the game. I think you would agree. I definitely agree with that. Fantastic. It's popping. <laughs> Absolutely popping. I need your.
I think this is also one of those rare instances where you actually use the car that's required for the mission. Fine by me! Um, so something about starting missions with mandatory Full cars, you noticed ahead. it in Cloud King Safe earlier. And All sound. the game wants is for you to have that car present when you speak to the NPC. Once that flag is checked, you can actually just switch to any other car you want. Something I wish I knew when I was playing this as a kid. So there's nothing too crazy to say here, except maybe some stuff towards the end. You just pick you like following your route to pick up the monkeys in the optimal fashion. My dad will pay for yeah, all the damage. It's very straightforward, honestly. Like yeah. nothing really special about Bingo! this. It is pretty cool what's used towards the end, though. Um, you basically use the Plow King as sort of a platform to jump up and grab some monkeys really on foot. Day. That was totally awesome. Face the wrong way. That's like. Nice one. Whoa, wicked. That was a little close. Fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Forgot I was on a bit lower FPS then. <laughs> Look out! Once you're past that sort of construction yard area, you're basically doing sort of the cleanup of this mission, which isn't too bad. Eat asphalt, nice asphalt tiny eaters. optimization there just to get back onto the road a little quicker. Move it or and lose then it, too. After I click this one, it's just the two remaining near the roof. Top. Oh, nice. So, having that door open and Bart step out to the phone booth, it's a good thing he didn't break it because basically the game detects okay. Play a character can't get easy out there, peasy. we're gonna warp so you tired. somewhere else, and that just puts him so straight on the so Little tired. optimization, but it's really well, nice. You'll notice as well, uh, we, we never touched on this. You wanna start, uh, to get in your car, you actually wanna jump on the roof. Uh, because this game, a couple other open world games, if you play Here's them like stuff like Saints Row 2, it'll just warp no you in immediately. So, it's really handy, so there it is. You'll notice he's also keeping oh, Mr. Plow here, so cool. because we have a destruction mission where you destroy a lot of cars. So, coming up after this mission Oops. is our first cutscene skip. Uh, so, there is probably one, that two, maybe totally three frames awesome. um, that exist between finishing a mission at the end of a level with a cutscene um, and when the cutscene begins. There's a tiny frame window where you can pause and walk to the next level without having to watch the cutscene. So, hopefully, I hit it. If I don't, and it's a 50 second time loss. You know, not the end of the world. Take It'd be cool that. to get it. Come on already! Whoa! That was Time not very nice. Time to some rubber down. It's all right, let's get him over here. I didn't do it. Oh. Sometimes you're lucky and you can sort of guide into the corner Visit. and get that last feather touch you need to bring Take it to the end of that bar. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't enjoy this so much. Wow, <laughs> that was great. Oh yeah, baby, bring it on. That's nice. That's pretty good. Cool. Right, so coming up, he's going to be doing the first cutscene skip, as he said. Now, if I recall correctly, there's there's numerous ways to do this, like mashing escape can kind of get you there. But uh, if I recall correctly, the visual cue is the text on mission complete beginning to fade out. Yeah. Something like that. All right. Something well like that. So let's see if he gets it. Why would you do that? Oh. Oh well. Have we got uh, any donations? Source is some kind of truck slash dinosaur. I never would have guessed. Uh, yes, we have a single donation. Shell Dude 400 gives $11.31. They say, donating during my favorite streamer's run. Good luck, Liquid. Show me some glorious out of bounds. I'm so excited to show off the out of bounds. I really hope yes, I get them. <laughs> everybody do the Bart Man. All right, so that's one of the rare runs where you get to actually have a clue of what the story might be about. So Bart's missing. We're gonna to switch to someone else now and go on to level three. Man, I'd love to mute this character. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the loudest 
screamiest character in Simpsons history, Lisa Simpson, ladies and gentlemen. I need to find... Hello, Springfield. I need full impulse power. So at least it's got kind of you an interesting route. We get all of the races and bonus missions done almost as instantly. Well, not almost instantly, but like towards the start of the level. And then we don't really touch them again Just until the very end more. of the level, so... This is kind of a, oh, no. it's kind of an interesting the round. Car is yeah, now a bit of flavor at the beginning of the run, it's seeing different ways of tackling oh, all the optional objectives in with the missions at the same time. We don't have deflector shields, you know. Direct hit! I need more power! Ow! You better run! I spilled my screen. Now can you tell me if you've seen my pointy-headed nuisance? Nice. That's an instance of just using collisions against the wall as a small way to optimize your driving. You could just hit the handbrake there and do a 180, but it's a little bit slower. Oh, no. Oh, dear. All right. What the? What? What? Did he just fall yeah, out of the sky? <laughs> well, that just got a little more rare. So obviously hit and runs are scary, uh, not just because obviously getting hit by a car can slow you down. They're scary because you lose 50 coins if you get busted, which can mess with your coin rack. So it's uh, generally not good stuff. However, when you finish a mission, uh, it will just clear your rate. Get... Easy as pie. The number, that is. Right, so coming up, we actually have optional objectives instead of going straight to the next mission. The next mission is actually quite close. This is also the best point to go do Nelson's race, and then to also do Skinner's bonus mission. Three, yeah, they're two, all really close together, so it just what? lights up perfectly. Ha, ha, Especially one, since the bonus go. mission actually ends when Clue will start the next main mission that we're going to be doing. Also, this mission is, sorry, buddy, uh, this race, sorry, is slow. relatively scary because Marge is a tank, and oh, I'm yes. driving this puny so this thing. Like so they've, <laughs> they've just decided to have a fight. <laughs> Marge has not picked a fight with Lisa today. We've there, been blessed. There's some interesting things that happened during this race. I had all three of them pile like against each other against this wall here one time, and I just <laughs> drove around the entire race and had no issues whatsoever. <laughs> so, like I said, I, I know I brought this up already, but looping probably at its most terrifying in this race because of this four-way crossing right here. Always a chance that you'll be driving fantastically. Someone comes by and just smashes you to the side. I'm sure you've had it happen enough times that you've lost count. Yeah. But it's going fairly well so far. I may have spoken too soon. I'm hoping I haven't. There's Marge popping the sickest wheelie you'll ever see. watching that radar too, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I pay more attention to the radar than I do the actual map in the yeah. game. <laughs> nice, nicely I'm done. I am the Lizard Queen! Uh, got a moment for a donation? Yes, of course. Uh, BG character 592 gives $11.31, says, maybe a donation will help Liquid's Christmas. luck. Good I'm luck, and mission. don't pull a Collingwood. <laughs> Vibri gave $16.28, oh, no. says well, some more cash go. in honour of Liquid's favourite character, Lisa. Uh, ACL You're Live gave $10. Yes, mother. Sorry, can we keep going? <laughs> yeah, you can. There's not, not really much to talk well, about in this mission. Uh, DJ Lambton, sorry, gave $10.95, says good luck, Liquid, and thank you, everyone at ASM, for putting in all this work for a great cause. <gasps> Um, and in the name of the cause, I just want to remind everyone, we do have some donation incentives. Uh, at the moment, we're still $15 shy of blinding, blindfolding Glade for his dust run. Thank you. So this mission's pretty boring, you but uh, the single like best thing... Yes, the single best thing about this mission is hearing Agnes roast, Agnes, roast Skinner. Agnes has some incredible lines in this game, and I, I, I did not even hear half of these when I was a kid. It's incredible. She's brutal. She absolutely murders Skinner. If only we could get her to speak. I need another hip. This time I'm taking yours. Fine, mother. I won't question the value of this activity. 
I seem to have soiled myself. You do know how to drive, right? Uh, Edna, oh. are you watching? I hope those were recycled. So that, uh, that thing that was taking <laughs> logs and turning them into bowling pins. And find you um, you're ruining that the thing tires, is Seymour. Also I'm not terrifying. If you uh, happen to be mother. jumping down there and get underneath it, uh, it, it can pretty much oh, almost instantly you. destroy your car. It will crush it down, get it almost to max damage, there. and there's a chance it can sometimes just pick it up again and hit with it. So it's 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 scary. You got to respect that thing. There was, there's also, like, a few instances where if you're in the right position and you're, uh... You have a gift for speed. You, you time it just right as well. You can actually get launched really, really far. And it, like, almost instantly destroys your car. It's ridiculous. Sweet forward momentum. I hope these are recyclable. Alright, so there's an instance of just having to wait for the thing to get out of your way. Still faster than going all the way around, thankfully. So, nice little bit of routing here. Obviously, we've hit that flag to talk to the house. But, I mean, hey, why not get these crates? Pop a reset. There we are. Oh, huh? I wonder if I'll get extra credit for this. All right, so we're coming up on boat jump. I will not be doing boat jump. I will not be doing. Oh, I will not right, be because of yeah, low FPS. Yeah, but you can <laughs> you can move. thankfully take advantage of a reset there, and it takes you right through the boat. Luckily, with all tasks, we get it doesn't really matter that I don't I get hope those, those points. Were recyclable. What boat jump is is there's a small pole, and you just can hit it with your car, and you can launch it to your car upwards, just so your character just hits the trigger for a void, and that void just happens to be. Um, oh, yeah. One that puts you back on the boat if you fall off. Now. So you can you can do that going. relatively easily um, on higher FPS, but on lower FPS it's not quite possible. So. so this is like the one mission that's really out of the way to any warp point. Um, it's quite annoying to get to sometimes. Why are you working? One, one, one. another one that's like kind of scary because Marge just has uh, so much speed. Like, and a she lot of mass. It. The other thing is because of the size of her car and how just wild she can be, she becomes a road dog. Like passing her during the squid board segment is pretty scary. It is actually quite a likely thing that I might fail this race, just because of how rough it is. Really hope that doesn't just happen. A temporary setback. You got, got no the lead. chance, buddy. All right, I think we should be fine unless we get owned towards the end. Okay. That right there was possibly the scariest turn going around those stairs there. But it should be good here. She must get her. Nice. Yay! Is it? Hopefully my store will not be robbed more than four times while I am driving around today. So this is interesting, there's a bit of a, once again, sort of guiding the NPC cars into a preferable spot. But rather than chase Cletus and hit him all these times, why not just uh, chuck him in the corner there? Thank goodness for just ram him repeatedly. City you can actually leave what? items sitting there for a while. So you're picking them up anyways. But like you can have them sort of, they'll pile up on the spot there. You can just pick them all up once you've hit enough times. Yeah, this vision really sucks if you miss this. Yeah. Like, it's actually significantly faster and just a lot smarter to just restart the mission. Cool. Than it is to, uh, and no to try and catch him and hit 59. Perhaps you should consult Professor Brink at the observatory. He seems to so know after everything. That, it's extremely Except straightforward. Why you just drive from A to B, and it's not even to too large of a drive. Not too fast. And that's it. Professor, easiest 
Pi. The number, that is. Alright, so this is the first mandatory costume purchase of the run. We're going to be needing this uh, once again. Yeah, once again, this is just another instance of needing to activate a flag in a mission. It's not this one, but it comes up later on. Uh, unlike with vehicles, you yeah. need to I should have paid keep more that costume on. You can't gym. just, you know, put it on and take it off. It's just more convenient to buy it and keep doing your thing through the rest of the level. Oh, good. Oh. Sorry, Otto. <laughs> Purchasing a vehicle will replace your currently active vehicle and activates the mission. So he's restarting here to go back to the start point and immediately get a ramp on the car. On the car, and it's just faster than driving. I need speed, more speed. So if he gets this, this is fantastic. He's going to be aiming for a corner here with the tree. Oh come oh, on! It's all right. Oh, that's it's all right. He usually gets stuck down here. If he if he doesn't, then I'll look a bit nice. silly. There we go. Oh, nice done. good enough. Good backup. Come on, traffic. Come on. <laughs> I got places to be. Oh no! Alright, so this next car is somewhat RNG. Um, depending on where traffic spawns, he can turn a different way. If he turns to the left, that's good luck. If he turns to the right, that's bad luck. And it looks like I'm getting a bit of bad luck here. Because it's much harder to actually get him destroyed quickly. Like I got really lucky here. But quite often he'll uh he'll drive all the way around to the front of the bowler arm before I can kill him. Oh ma. And this last one is pretty interesting. Uh, I love this reset. Yeah, you abuse resets once again by like hitting this wall, resetting oh, car. Oh dear. The way you can do is it'll spawn him in, you can just Ow, push him from behind. Hair and almost one-shot him. It's empty. Nicely done, What's that was clean. Going... All right, so, if anyone here watched uh, this one last year, uh, you may remember that this mission was a very RNG heavy mission, and I believe I, I got really bad luck on this mission. <laughs> um, ever since then, we actually found a manipulation Sweet for this, momentum. and it makes this almost 100% consistent. So, Counterfeit design oh, I might not be able to do it now. Oh no, I should be fine. Yeah. Someone call the cops. So, Sorry. the last item is on a five second timer. If it goes for the full five seconds, normally, he would go past the bridge, and then Running you'd have to like drive all the way back and lose 25 seconds. But now, what you can do, is you can reset your car here. Hopefully I do this correctly, otherwise Extreme I'm gonna look like a bit of a fool. Good thing this car yeah, and to the park city. yourself just directly in front of him. Oh. I look like a bit of a Goodness fool, I see. Woo. Yep. And <laughs> Snake was merciless, unfortunate. That's all right. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, that's an example of bad luck. But normally, what would happen is you park yourself directly in front of him, and then he just drop the item like right there. It makes it pretty consistent, but it's kind of difficult to do. What's a big idea? And it would save driving all the way around the dam. So. Don't be alarmed. I'm a professional badge guy. And easy as pie. All right, so we're going to be doing our last race in this level. Could you come get? Unfortunately, there's nothing really fancy about this race. <laughs> this one is uh, pretty, pretty lackluster, honestly. So, regarding cornering, Cam, and and technique, what's the? Tell us about the best way to sort of take corners in this game. Um, honestly, it's better to take corners sort of wider than like aim close to the corner itself because then you're already on a direct line. Um, a really important thing about this game is actually like not 
wobbling around while you're driving, that loses a lot of time and a lot of people don't realize it until it's pointed out. So I try to keep as straight a line as possible when I'm just driving and like avoid um, touching the joystick at all. You'll notice as well he doesn't want to rely too heavily on the handbrake. That can be a big contributor to losing speed as well. Uh, generally, you want to sort of just give it a tap. You just want to be feathering it. It's Again, it's a small thing. It's not a major glitch. It's not a crazy thing you do, but it's those little optimizations that count in a game like this. Good for a few donations. Yeah, go for it. Uh, AI gave $3.83, says, Hey Liquid, thank you for being there for a bunch of people through some really hard times. You've brought many happy times to us all and helped me personally through some really hard times. Good luck on your run. Thank you. Neo EO 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 gave $7. Uh, Neo says, Let's meet that last incentive and hit 6K, guys. If everyone in chat donates just $1, we can double our money. So let's get donating to a great cause. Uh, ben Pai gives a dollar ninety-five. Uh, says all love to organisers, staff, runners, and attendees for helping put this all together. Thank you, Ben Pai. And What Face gave five dollars sixty-one. Thank you for all your donations, guys. I reckon we can hit six k by the end by the uh, end of the marathon. Absolutely. Let's go. Keep donating. Alright, so after this mission, I'm going to be picking up the school bus, because after this mission, uh, we're going to be doing uh, Old Pirate in the Sea, which is destroying the limo and then getting to Bart. Um, school bus is best for destroying the limo, because it allows us to attempt a really fast strat, um, but it's pretty difficult. Um, it seems to come up a lot in this game, I've just realised. Um, <laughs> but um, there's a really fast backup for it, so... There's a timing window here, he wants to get right, so he can get right behind that limo and sort of slam it into there. You can get better slams than that, unfortunately, that wasn't necessarily the best one to get, but it doesn't matter, there's more opportunities coming right up around the corner here. So the limo is sort of just going to get stuck there, because it's a limo, the thing's damn long. So that gives us time to sort of move around here. And up walk like that. <laughs> That was completely unnecessary, by the way. <laughs> if you couldn't figure that out. Just showing off a bit. Alright, so... so sorry, go ahead. So this is a fun thing. You can use the geometry to your advantage here. They actually have collision on bits of this lamppost. If you can make it. There we go. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh, so... <laughs> hey, I'll explain that after... So the, as well as the physics and everything being different on lower FPS, the jumping is actually a lot different as well because um, you float a lot more than you would uh, on higher FPS. So that changes a lot about that. But now we're at Elisa, thank God. Yes, you may now remove your earplugs and enjoy the dulcet tones of Marge's nicotine-encrusted vocal cords. I'll do my best. So Cam waits there because of the follow meter on Chief Wiggum. Pretty self-explanatory, but once again, just an, another element of timing and sort of being aware of where the AI are going, uh, knowing how to pace yourself in the run. Lots of different visual cues you can use, obviously. There's always what's happening directly. There's the mini-map and there's that bar. So plenty of ways to figure that one out. It's a um, nice little bit of ingenuity in the run. This is obnoxious. This is another example of moving a vehicle, but the donut truck has weird physics, weird hitbox. If you just sort of feather it in, unfortunate. 
What she Sorry. wanted to do there was actually get that one sort of all the way to the end of that building and get him stuck in a corner like with Cletus. But there's always a backup. You got it. So once again, it's all about causing Central a collision with that vehicle, but you don't necessarily have to be the one colliding as long as the game detects one. You can sort of just park yourself in the road, make sure it keeps hitting you. mission, uh, Cletus uh, decided to upgrade his truck to, to like a V8 engine or something. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure why he goes so fast now, but he just does. But he he absolutely books it. And this is kind of the point where rubber banding almost doesn't exist. It does still exist, but not by not much anymore. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe rubber banding just ceases to be a thing by level 5, I, I think, say? I think it, like, barely exists. Right, yeah. The same thing as before, I'm just going to slow down and look backwards. Hopefully, uh, he did hit the wall once. That's not that big of a deal. But, um, ideally he just goes straight through. Ice your wall! Come on, Cletus. Get on the way. Keep it moving. <laughs> nice girls, finish fast. You're looking at some serious road rage. Alright, so we're going to be buying attention. inmate here. I should pay more attention. Uh, inmate is required for the next mission that we do. Since Marge doesn't want to get her clothes dirty. And this is an instance of main menu warping once again. So after we've uh, warped to the main menu, Cletus has just done a quick downgrade on his car for us, just to make life harder. He thinks it's hilarious. We need them ketchup packets people done throwed out to feed on during the long winter. Help me fetch them. Hey, I know another dumpsters round here somewhere. Alright, so these 18 ketchup packets aren't like necessarily <laughs> difficult to get. Except for the last one, which is in the middle of the Wheel of Fortune in the power plant. Um, and I'm it's sorry, actually nearly impossible to get without a decent runner. It is easily the scariest Wheel of Fortune encounter across the board. It's terrifying. This is one of those missions that either goes absolutely flawlessly or everything goes wrong in every possible way. <laughs> Also, I have to say, I love how the devs actually got in contact with Tom Jones to supply the uh, instrumental for It's Not Unusual for this mission. <laughs> it really does sound like that, honestly. It really does. <laughs> oh, that was better than the movie box. Canyonero! 
Alright, so here we go. Bless RNG on this one. That's pretty scary. Oh, this vehicle was Little Sally May's school fun. Look out! Whoa. Nice. Cleared it. So after this mission, we're going to be picking up the Malibu Stacy car. Unfortunately, we weren't quite done with Lisa. We still have to put up with her. Um, since she appears in the car uh, with us. So... Oh, wow! <laughs> I thought that was going to make it for sure. Um, now, Malibu Stacy uh, is basically identical oh, to the Kanganera in terms of uh, speed. But it has slightly faster acceleration. And uh, due to the way that Marge gets out of the car, um, makes some of the uh, transitions easier to talk to characters. Um, everyone better stay out of my way. Sorry about that. Oh, not again. And this is the shortest mission in the game. Um, Return of the Early Dead. I'm not really sure why this mission even exists, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Definitely feels like a filler mission. Absolutely. Okay, so, this mission is very scary. There is something that can happen on this mission with the black sedan driving around dropping pills. It's called Two Cycle. Basically what happens is on the 9th and 10th items, if he tries to drop the 10th item first, he won't drop the 9th item, and he'll try, well, he will, he won't me. try, he will drive all the way around the entire Don't track all over again, zoo. and it loses two and a half minutes. <laughs> Look, no it is completely luck based, there's nothing I, I can do to like Watch manipulate the it. There is a little thing I can do to manipulate it, but sometimes speed, it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, and hopefully that doesn't happen. Yeah. If it does, then what are you going to do? Marathon luck. That's it, and there's a million and one things that always seem to go wrong in marathons, so I'm out of the run. Most we can do here is just pray. Not the car! My bad. <gasps> I am so embarrassed. I'm going to have to do so much babysitting to pay for that. Okay, we're fine. No two cycle. <laughs> nice. I'll clean that up later. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I don't have any pockets. All right, so coming up is uh, once he hits the retirement home, there's going to be one hell of a lengthy cutscene. Um, so I imagine provided we have uh, donations, if that might be a good time. So we're nearly there, pretty much. Um, no what happens is the all these pills put Grandpa oh, right to sleep, so we're going to be jolting him awake driver. with some uh, Boomer Juice sound. pills. Let's Get him right back up and running. Oh, we certainly do have a donation. Uh, the Bird Queen gave $25 and simply says, Lisa is a good character. Up to a In certain season. Incorrect. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, it was all downhill after Lisa the Vegetarian. For the last freaking time, tell me about the crop circles. 
There I was surrounded by Tojo and his Nazi henchmen. When one of them, a raccoon as I recall, hits me with a banjo. No, I never reasoned with a raccoon, let alone a Nazi one. So I... So just a reminder that Australian Speedrunning Marathon fundraises throughout our events for Beyond Blue, an independent non-profit initiative working in mental health to help with issues of depression, anxiety and suicide uh, and reducing associated stigma around these topics. Well, we currently have beaten last year's total raised, uh, which is amazing. We're looking to see how far we can raise the bar for next year. Donations can be made at donate.ozspeedruns.com and if you're donating towards an incentive, please include it in your donation message. Well, like, only just over 100, 150, if I'm reading that correctly. 150 away from 6K. We can definitely get that. Nice. See if we can break it before the end of the run. I reckon we can do it. All right, so a good thing about Marge is all the bonus mission, all the bonus mission, all the races actually line up like perfectly with each other. They're all they all link to each other very nicely. I'll do my best. Kid power! This is a really bad day. That is assault. That is assault. I hope this so this, in my steal. opinion, is probably the worst bonus mission. I really dislike this one because it's just really boring. But uh, there's a, it's a bit of cool tech here that you can do on the roof with the vents. I hope Bart gets blamed for that. Sorry, sorry! Now, that was efficient. I can touch the sky! And this is why the all tusks coin route is so lenient. It's because we can pick up all this stuff here without actually losing any time. This is also the reason why we put that the races assault, in where we have where we have them. It's because um, doing them anywhere else will require an extra phone booth, like menuing, I guess. So just being able to hold on to the Malibu Stacy card through all this is just really nice to be able to do. This is a rather unique racing mission. Uh, for whatever reason, instead of racing the next level's character, we're racing Professor Frank's hover car. I still don't know why this is the case. We'll have to ask Ian about this. For anyone who doesn't understand that joke, there is a there is quite a few lines of code in this game that just say, ask Ian about this. We don't know why. <laughs> I hope those were recyclable. Smashy, smashy! What a letdown! Oh. oh, I hope he doesn't overtake me. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Eat my rudeness! Oh, he got stuck. It's nice. okay. Come We're all good. <laughs> Alright, so this race has a pretty interesting strat. There's only, I think, two or three checkpoints in this entire race. So, normally what you're intended to do is you're intended to go straight through Burns' mansion, and then go through the power plant's, like, backside. 
Whoa. Um, but just do it. Three. You don't have to do that. Two. <coughs> One. Ugh. You can just reverse here. We can just do this for each lap. It's really silly sometimes they, they do things in this game that don't make any sense. Oh no. Oh. Disappointing. Okay, Marge, stick to the plan. Alright, now after this we've got one more race. This next one's really quick. Probably takes about, I don't know, just under a minute, just over a minute. Something like that. And then we can head back to regular missions and finish off the level. I wish I could be Marge in charge. Oh no! I need some road rage. Walking is so thank you. Three, two, I just go already. No time for caution. Oops. I never underachieve at anything. You should study maps more. How'd you do that? Sorry, buddy. You're just too slow. Is this going to affect my insurance? It's never hit me, but I just realized they almost this entirely recycled the geometry from level one's <laughs> race here. <laughs> it's so similar. <laughs> oh my god. They get, they're so, they're, the developers are very lazy. <laughs> no, they, they like to use the term efficient. <laughs> Which reset thing? Oh no, I know, I know how that works. <laughs> I'll be able to explain that later on the run. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to main menu warp. This is actually not going to be for more wasps. We're, we want the Canyonero back because we got a structure mission coming up soon. And doing it with the Malibu Stacy car would be a nightmare, so. Now, for whatever reason, in this mission, we need Officer Marge. But do you. Yeah, Marge is going full authoritarian about removing all cola from the premises, which is also just scattered on the street anyways, so I don't know what her concern is. Oh. I need more step aerobics classes. Once again, we got the poppin' music. Well, absolutely poppin'. Hell of a banger. <sighs> just let me catch my breath. I need a Long Island iced tea. Slow and steady wins the race. Woo! Wee! Cabin 3K. 
heads really slow. There's a weird little bit of uh, collision there you can stand on. Oddly enough, that does not exist in level 1, but exists in level 4 and 7, so I'm not really sure why. Someone came back one yes. evening and thought, oh, I'll finish these levels a little more than level 1. I swear I used to be a better runner. Any more step aerobics classes? Alright, I would define this as the hardest mission in the game. Um, doing all three of these cola trucks in, like, as optimal as you can do them is really difficult. Just because they all have very difficult strategies behind them. Hopefully, it'll be cool if I get them all. But I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't. <laughs> so generally, you're trying to guide them into rather small collision points. Like that. Oh. Nice. Generally, you can get a bit more damage out of that, but he got exactly what he kind of wanted to do there. Um, so... That is fine. Yeah, they're, they're that very is absolutely long, fine. Nice. They're, they're, they're really long vehicles, so trying to actually guide them when you hit them from behind can be quite difficult. Um, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> hedges, the deadliest object on Earth, apparently. But yeah, it's it's a, there's a lot of difficulty in just guiding them, and if you hit them really hard, you can actually cause them to sort of flip into the air and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Also, you notice the Canyon Arrow, uh, like almost bounced around. Then this is why we uh, part of the reason why we avoid using it for a very large majority of this level because it's horrible. It's really bad. If you'd like to have some fun, uh, boot up the game, uh, and don't use any frame limiter, and just go over jumps with the Canyon Arrow and watch it fly. Sensible shoe to the metal. Not very good at nice. this. Nice. Keep Canyon narrow. Now, one more to go. I really don't want to get hit and run. That'd be preferable. I should pay more attention. Oh, hang on. It might not be avoidable here. Very nice. Hang on. I can do this. Easy. Oh. Easy. Oy. <laughs> All right, no power plant workers in my way, please. All right, last one, let's go. So this one uh, usually works, but sometimes it can have an enormous brain and just like escape straight away. This time he didn't. So those were actually very good collar trucks. And you can get some incredibly funky stuff on that last one. I think I saw like the best truck destruction of all time once when you were streaming. It sort of flipped all the way up into the air, did all kinds of crazy stuff, smacked the tree and died. It was yeah. incredible. I remember that one. That was so cool. Now, we're gonna pick up a few more coins just because they're not really out of the way. Um, and then we're gonna head back to the Simpsons house. So. An interesting part of this uh, this getaway here is that, well, as I mentioned before, interiors are just actually like really far away parts of the map. So, oh no, the police are after me. I can just go inside my house and I'll escape them. How easy is that? And that finishes off the level. Fantastic. Okay, so this level is, I, I feel like I've said this every single, uh, every single uh, situation so far, but this level is by far the hardest in the game. Um, there is a lot of stupid things you have to do. Oh, the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to pick up the car before Homer. Um, and then I'm going to be doing a race straight after. This is just between me and you, random object. Mr. Homer. Watch out, my spine. This is just between me and you, random object. Vishnu, oh, here I come. Nicely done. Very smooth. Is this a good moment for donations? Yes, it's fine. Excellent. Um, we have a member of our audience gave $11.31 and just says, having a great time watching Liquid Speed Run at Avcon. Uh, Shulk04 gave $8.64. Says, thank you for some great speed runs for a wonderful, very deserving cause. 
hello from the other side of the world. Uh, and lastly, Craggle Baggle gave us uh, a remarkable $53.65. Thank you so much to all of our donators. Ha, clean up in aisle one. So something worth noting is we are actually a, about $166 away from breaking $6,000. So we can do this. Let's go, guys. Okay, so this guy can have some quite, uh, how do I say this, nasty drops. There's a lot of 11 items that he drops, and some of them can just be, like, right into inside walls, um, just, like, in horrible places. And on top of it all, the two cycle I mentioned earlier can also happen in this mission, so... Luckily, this one is not common at all, but now that I've said that, <laughs> I suspect bad things may happen. Ha! Clean up in aisle one! I can see my house from here! Mate. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> This is another instance of looking backwards just so he doesn't get stuck on a lot of things. If I didn't do that, he would have got stuck on the fire truck. And at the, sec the time before that, would he would have got stuck on the staircase. Just a bit of manipulation to make it go a bit faster. Alright, I didn't get two cycles. Oh, no! Oh. Help. Might cut it a little close. Nah, we're fine. The legitimate businessman social class. Looks like our boon Asapima Petalon is taking on the world. Watch it, buddy! All right, don't buy military. No, 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 no. I'm gonna make sure it's on American. He's done yes. it, he's done it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that seems like a bit of a meme, but the amount of times I've bought army up here has been kind of really upsetting. <laughs> yeah, you've gotta be very careful. So there's an interval when it's loading up that menu where the game can just eat a lot of inputs there. So you really want to be looking for that visual cue. Alright, so after this mission is Baby Van. Now, Baby Van is a very interesting mission. Um, the car itself, we we're not exactly sure what causes it, but the car itself can either have good driving or bad driving. There's no way to know until you're actually starting the mission, and there's no way to react in time to do either of like the proper strategies for them. So... This mission is awful for runs, and ironically enough, we have uh, Kinky Freaky right after this, which is also a really bad mission. Wait, what am I doing? I already bought the car before Homer. <laughs> that is, you just uh, stopped to flex on him. Hey, I still have your car, loser. <laughs> that was the wrong route. I'm afraid we... Hopefully my store will not be robbed more than four times. All right, please be nice today. to me. All right, he has, he has good drive. 300 oh. horses of convenience. Oh, if it weren't for that car, I would have gotten that. Fortunate. 
Oh, well, we just have to do this mission uh, the casual way now. Never have I seen such a four wheel disgrace. Oh, no! I'm getting no. very baited here. Ah, uh, don't beat yourself up. That's one of the fastest Let's Plays I've ever seen in that mission. <laughs> okay, so... This okay. mission is... Thank you all for coming. Really, you really well. tough. Gimani crickets. Hopefully I get it somewhat quickly. Ooh, the fresh air is somewhat... Excuse me. Ooh, I had better hurry. Last time I... Must admit, the smell of fresh air is much more pleasing than the odor of the hot dog machine. Oh, mate. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, he's fighting you. He's fighting, he's trying. I am a lean, mean, bindal machine. Once he gets behind the sign. All right. 300 horses of convenience. First try, I can't complain Perhaps about that. Should Very nice. I'm doing that in the future. This is not good for my insurance. Anyone who did this mission casually will know how horrible this is. Great work! Shiva H. Vishnu! My jubilation knows no bounds! Oh, Shiva smiles on such behavior. Hey, aren't you the... Six, twelve, one, Excuse me. Go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just between me and you, random object. Alright, so this race they intended you to go all the way around the highway. But uh as you'll see coming up, they didn't do a very good job of it. Um and this took us like four years to find, but there's this big gap you can just drive right through. <laughs> just made it. Yeah. <laughs> And strangely enough, even though this doesn't matter very much, they actually did on this side as well. <laughs> oh, pretty good. Thank you. Come again. I couldn't find my car. <laughs> hey. I must finish quick. All right, this is the longest uh, race Three, in the entire game. Two, floor, uh, if you have Jim any donations crickets. or you'd just like to plug, you can go ahead. Too slow, opposing vehicle. Color me outraged. You have no chance. Oh, what a disgrace. Oh, come on. He cheated. Thanks for that. We have a single donation out at the moment. Anonymous gave us $5.97. Thank you. Anonymous is very generous. Color me outraged. Woohoo! This is just between me and you, random object. Too slow, opposing vehicle. I am a lean, mean, vindaloo machine. They really made this race so unnecessarily long. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're lapping a huge amount of the map for basically no reason. Let's keep this interesting. What, I what are your best 
and worst Simpsons episodes. Ha! Lisa goes Gaga. Alright, that's. Please don't tell me that's your best. No, 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 All no, right. no. All right. <laughs> what, what, what would be your best? Um, my personal favorite is definitely the monorail episode. All right, I, I can rate that. I can rate that. You are a scammer, just like the monorail guy. Wow. Man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what about yours? Uh, worst one for me is the one where Lisa gets a restraining order on Bart. I hated her in that episode. Yeah. Best one. You only move twice. I love Hank Scorpio. <laughs> Best Simpsons character ever. Man, it's almost like Lisa episodes are all bad. I know, right? <laughs> How strange. Funny, man. That's a little odd. <laughs> Alright, this race is nearly done. We've been here for about three minutes. Oh, Shiva smiles on such behavior. And I believe that is the end of the uh, races in our poo, so we can just finish off the level now. Excellent. You did bet. That's it, Apu. Make that. Hello, famous. Hopefully, my store will. I always loved how the prompt for that was "Look at your new outfit." Just admire yourself. Okay, now go pick up donuts, <laughs> quick. Oh, do not fear. You will be reincarnated. Hope I have room in my pants for this. Oh no! So this mission, we just gotta follow follow the trail of donuts, and we just gotta let Wiggum do his thing until he gets to the DMV. As with uh, every mission, it's very uh, dependent on traffic, um, but there are a few bad things that can happen if traffic isn't bad enough. And I have to be really careful not to get hit and run here, because if I do and I enter the uh, the highway, there's a good chance the game can crash. So I'm just gonna like. Play it a bit safe. Keep my meter like around here would be ideal. Just like you this know, don't crash the game would be the best thing to do in this circumstance. Jimmy Cricket. Oh, don't do it. Okay. All right. So from here on out, we should be fine. Hurry. Last time I left this store, Hoodlums put for All right, so this garbage truck is not very smart. He likes to drive in a, a bit of a wacky way. But hopefully, I might be able to get this. Oh, just this. It's okay. Um, you can push him, you can make him turn really quickly, and then just uh, get straight into where he is right now. It takes a couple of seconds, but you know. Now I'm just going to try and keep him away from the wall as much as possible. And from here I'm just going to hold looking backwards because he drives a lot better. I'm going to try and navigate this whole area without looking forwards. And hopefully not getting owned by traffic. Now I've got a bit of platforming. 
Uh, this is also a really good opportunity for uh, coins to be collected because there's a lot around here. Oh, I should sleep more. This is generally considered a mission that you can make up a lot of coins in. It's because there's so much stuff all just like laying around. Can we have some more donations? Yes, go ahead. Lovely. Theo RG gave $53.65. Says, I'm living in the UK at the moment, but still got to support my fellow Aussies back at home. Keep the run speedy and tight like a budgie smuggler on a hot summer's day. 8-Bit oh Waluigi gave $6. Says, The Simpsons Hit and Run is one of those games forever burned into my memory. Absolutely fantastic game and fantastic watching it run. Shout outs to everyone running this brilliant oh, event. No. Thank you. Uh, and lastly, Goinks gave $5.61, says, oh, trying to save up, but I've got to donate for the birthday boy. Oh, Thank you. Acrobatic. We must be close to 6K now, aren't we? Oh, $16 off 6K. We're so close. we will be out here 7K before the end tomorrow. One cheeky apple. Oh, $20? $20. <laughs> and we've broken 6K. Woo! We can definitely hit 7k. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Easy. Do hurry up or my arranged bride will chastise me. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, Shiva smiles on such behavior. So next up we got the Notorious Armoured Truck. Uh, a lot of people probably remember this mission. Ooh, it's been very difficult, my quite often blowing up the car. Um, but hopefully, with a, with a particular strategy that we've developed over a couple of years. Uh, actually, I need to main menu off. Um, we could have him destroy himself entirely in, I don't know, maybe 50 seconds, give or take. Now, it's interesting, there's actually a, a different alternative, low FPS exclusive strategy that has him destroy himself in 10, sec 10 seconds, but uh, it's ridiculously hard to pull off. <laughs> so, I'm not going to go for that because, you know, it's a terrible idea. I smashed my skull. Now this first Wiggum escape, we're going to stick to the left because it confuses AI, it just turns around. And when I drive off, we just lose him straight away. You. Yes, you. Alright, and right here is the legend, right himself. <laughs> Hopefully, if traffic permits. Alright. Might have to come back and push power. him, but that should keep him stuck at hey, least. That's totally not supposed to happen. Uh, I'm just gonna take this opportunity Sweet to grab a few points. Oh, like no. Owned. <laughs> Ooh, I must finish quickly or vomit. Maybe I'll grab some extra coins and just go the other way. Hey, that's totally not supposed to happen. This might not even be worth it. <laughs> As you can see, he just destroyed himself because he tries to get in, get out, but he just drives straight into the stairs. And he blows himself up. Don't have to worry about it. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Next up, curator. And then a cutscene skip again. I really hope I hit this one, because <laughs> this one is uh, two and a half minutes, if I don't get it. This is just between me and you, random object. Whoa, that was gnarly, dude. All right, this last one of escape, and he just goes straight what through here. You? It makes no sense. You see his AI it doesn't nice know what to do, so he just loses straight away. Have we got a moment? 
Uh, yep. Donations keep on rolling on through. Um, Crackle Baggle gave another $10.95. Says, keep up the good work, Liquid. Thanks for the support. I'll donate another 10 for Bort and also another 10 for getting Bart to cuts in Skip. Uh, Amethyst gave $1.69. Nice. And Mega Slayer gave $22. Says, wanted to be the donation that passed 6 k but oh well. Good work to everyone involved in this event. Hope I can make it next year. Good luck to all runners. Thank you. Oh, that was so close. This is just between me and you, random object. So thankfully with the curator's bathing, he gives you a couple opportunities to just kind of ram him into a wall. Nice. I'm not sure how that worked, to be honest. It didn't look like it was going to. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit skeptical as well. All right. 300 horses of convenient power. Oh, this is too cool for school. All right, that was so cool. Yes. Nice. All right. <laughs> it doesn't matter what else happens now. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So went to talk to Apu, but I'm just gonna ignore him. Yo, lift. Now, Pick up the Kangi Nero instead. Fine. I'm practically a taxi service already. Why? Nice driving, man. And Bard 2's bonus missions has a couple of interesting Listen. strategies. Um, we actually switched cars in the middle of this mission. My best. Because oh, Kanginera is really good for Wiggum, but really bad for Milk Truck. Good thing is car I say really good for Wiggum and stuff like that happens. <laughs> I'll do my best. No problemo. Eat my dust, dust eaters. Sweet as a cheese danish. Alright, so it's we can just like let him push this. He'll drive back. Can just keep repeating this. I blame this computer navigation system. Uh, unfortunately, this is gonna be a little bit slow. It's okay. Should get him hopefully soon. Oh, he's booking it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, it's all gone so wrong. Oh, he is not having it. No All right, All that's right. whatever. All right, so ah, I'm going yeah. to pick up Legally the hover car. Which is a very interesting oh, choice. Awesome, man. That was the best ride but ever. for some reason, hover car can driver. push stuff Got really, really easily, like here. other vehicles. Hey, watch it. Okay. That so now we've been tasked with destroying the milk truck for some reason. Look out! Oh no. It's alright, I'm just gonna make sure I'm facing the right way. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for that to go up. Right, hopefully. Ah, uh, whatever. That's okay. So you can actually push him underneath the log and have him destroy instantly. It's really funny. Sometimes he launches. <laughs> but it's okay. We can just like hit him into walls, run into him ourselves. It's not that big of a deal. Even close. <laughs> I'm not sweating at all, no. <laughs> Apu. Auto man. You got it. Oh, this is too cool for school. Take that. Alright, I gotta hit board for that ten dollars. Whoa! Where did oh. that come from? Eat my dust, dust eaters. My rims cost nine hundred dollars. It's alright, I've got like five chances to get bought, so it's pretty much guaranteed. Woo, nice one. Whoa, yeah, take that. 
Run's valid. Alright, so oh, yeah. normally I you'd only have to buy this uh, car for set to kill, but this car is actually really, really fast. We're going to use it for every single mission in this level. Barney, where's Bart Simpson at your service? Because it's just that good. <laughs> It's time for some road rage, Bart Simpson style. Eat asphalt, asphalt eaters. Quickly picking up a vending machine here. Something you can do here instead of talking to the limo driver is I'm just whack. <laughs> and off you go to the squid board. He's just, he's furious. He's called you out for a race immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about my season. <laughs> Being here before. All right, that was so cool. All right. Perfection. All right, so it's going to ignore Krusty for the moment. We're going to go talk to Millhouse. You better run. Don't have a cow, man. Not a Millhouse. Three. So because two, of the way that reset one. points work, we can abuse it in this race. Um, there's one particular area where it makes it a lot easier to drive backwards. Um, since you're either designed, yeah, you're either meant totally to like drive awesome. through the squid port or down below the beach. Um, but instead we can drive straight through Planet Hype, which is normally blocked off, but as you'll see here in like, I don't know, 15 seconds or so, we can actually reset our car and end up outside of the map. Well, not outside the map, outside the boundaries of the race. So if we just get down here, we set our car, we'll end up up here. Just jump over the barriers, get back inside. And repeat that twice. So, I haven't actually explained why those resets actually work. The way it works is in races, in norm sorry, in normal gameplay, the game resets you to the nearest location that has a road reset point, which is why the one over there to my left actually works. However, they change that in races, and they actually have it, um, so it resets the last known road that you are on. And this is really important for this upcoming race because it has an interesting thing that we can do to save a good chunk of time. Um, 
Now it's really important. There's like two types. Well, there's not two types of road. There's a point in the road called Three, an intersection. Two, an intersection one, is one whoa. big point in the road that's like covered by like one big circle, and has one initial reset point, which and happens to be one right here. If I make it my last known point, this area that I'm on at the moment doesn't actually. Well, it registers as a road now. You'll see it on the next lap. Um, the uh, area that I'm on doesn't actually register as a road. So when I reset my car, a kind of interesting thing happens. I hope I get it this time, otherwise I'm going to have to do it normally and just like make sure I beat Homer. Homer goes nuts on this race. Yeah, I totally so we end up back up here and we cut out the entire loop back. We can do that on every lap. Unfortunately I messed it up on the first time. <laughs> Mate, oh, this is gonna be really close. Oh no! <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna make sure I beat Homer. I'm just gonna try and overtake him. It was cool to show that off, but uh, I'd rather not fail this in a marathon. <laughs> we should be fine, I hope. If I mess it up, I'm, I'm screwed. What's my name? All right. <laughs> that went a lot more horribly than I was hoping. But we didn't fail. That's all that matters. And the crowd goes wild. Krusty, listen. Fine by me. All right. Kind of a cool thing you can do with Frink here. Uh, just a quick welcome to our new audience members. Uh, we are Oz Speedruns and we're raising money for Beyond Blue to support their work in the mental health sector. Our event has been running since Tuesday and so far Attention we've raised over $6,000. If you would like to help us out, please head to donate.ozspeedruns.com. Thank you. So you can actually finish that entire mission without getting in your car. Ooh, nice but uh, there's a chance Whoa. that you get knocked off around the staircase that goes to Android's dungeon. So I'm not going to do that because if that happens, I fail. Whoa, wicked! My pants are cheap. But this is uh, unfortunately more of an auto scroll mission. It's disappointing that this, this mission kind of kills the flow of the game because it's like towards the end of the run you get excited, you're on pace for a PB usually. Um, but it, you just have to sit through this really boring mission. The other thing is, for whatever reason, Frank really likes to just loop around for no reason. They just trying to bait him us. That way. He's trying to bait us. Exactly. No problemo. You got it. Time to lay some rubber down. This mission used to give us a lot of trouble. Um, previously. Physics. Okay, this is epic. Um, <laughs> previously, we would try to hit the duff truck from the back to get it stuck in to a small area uh, at the taffy shop. But we realized that instead of trying to push him from the back, we could push him from the front. 
and it made the mission a lot easier. <laughs> Still pretty tough, but not nowhere near as difficult. Horse. Oh, I'm guessing little Nass stride anyways. That's okay. And I just had a detail. No! 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 <laughs> I need these! <laughs> How could you do this to me? One more hit. There we go. Nice. Uh, just a couple more donations. Yeah, go for it. Um, Hera Banani gave eleven dollars thirty-one. Thank you very much. Uh, and Sock gave thirty-three dollars and twenty-six cents. Says Wi-Fi helped me out a lot through my final year of high school when I felt like I had nothing going for me. Here's to a great organization and to Glade, Glade Blindfolded. Thank you very much. That actually meets our final donation incentive. So you may have noticed uh, in Lisa and Bart, I've been using the reset inside the boat to get to the other side. But as I mentioned before with races, it's not to the nearest road, it's to the last known road. So if I were to, if I were to reset in uh, in the boat during this race, so I'm going to take the shortcut, um, it would actually speed. put me back behind I remember these being here uh, before. before the boat jump itself. And it would, um, it would be very bad because I can't actually get anywhere from that location. Don't forget to ride. I have to be really careful not to do that. Oh, my so yeah, they didn't exactly uh, guinea, guinea, guinea. block off this area very well. Great, now I'm losing. That ends the races and bonus right, missions for Bart. Now we're just going to finish the level. Principal Skip, Bart Simpson at your service. Oh, this is too cool for school. Yeah, I'll educate you a new one. Eat my dust, dust eaters. Oh. That's unfortunate. So what he, it wasn't quite what he wanted there. What he wanted to do was actually guide Skinner into the movie lot there and just get him trapped in the corner. But uh, looks like you might have a backup going on. Maybe not. Backup is just to oh, yeah, smash baby. him into Bring walls as hard as you can. Yeah, I'll educate That's you a new one. Now show the poop to Krusty. And if he doesn't believe me now. Krusty, I... So once again, if you ever played this when you were young, this is probably bringing back all sorts of symptoms of PTSD. Um, Dan's gonna make this look like a joke. Open your eyes. Lisa did it. Yeah. Uh, sorry, go, you go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, this is possibly the best instance of routing in the entire run where you leave something behind, because to anyone that's played this, it's just terrifying. Thank you, announcer. You know, uh, I think a lot of uh, one of the main things that people didn't realize about this mission is that um, there is a set 45 second timer at the very end, so it doesn't matter oh, after picking up these 25 uh, stands. So it doesn't matter which one you pick up as the 25th, you'll always have 45 seconds. So you could just leave like this one right here and pick it up after, and you'll be fine to get back. So it may look like I missed a couple. This is intentional because what you can do, you can do this reset again. You spawn right on top of one, you pick up the other two. And you can uh, 
just to finish off the mission. Sorry, 50 seconds, not 45. Interesting thing in the beta version of this game is that there's actually no timer to get back. So, I, I guess they yeah, really wanted to make the game a pain. Alright, I'm gonna pick up these coins. Should be the last of the coins I need. I, I only need 500 from here on out. Slight divert. I gotta work off my yeah, I can get 150 coins the next level. Not a problem. Alright, right, this is the final cutscene skip yeah. we have to do in the run. This one Let's is the this least thing. amount of time loss no at 40 problemo. seconds. So, if this one is this, I don't really care. <laughs> You're all mine. <laughs> hey, you were supposed to eat my dust. My butt hurts. Bart did it. Woo, nice one. Also, I'm going to be attempting a boat jump, uh, as jump mentioned before. So this should be doable on a uh, uh, bit lower peanut. FPS, I hope. Aww, if it loser. isn't, then I'm going to look silly. Boom, go boom. No. All right, cool. Nice. So that hits the void, puts me back up the top. And I can pick up these coins. Just make Son life a bit easier for myself. Oh, that was too easy. Oh yeah, I totally rule. Oh, oh. that's unfortunate. Oh well, 33%. <laughs> one in three ain't bad. Yeah. All right, this one isn't very long. So, Roma 2 is the coolest level in the entire run. <laughs> this is the only level in the game at the moment that features out of bounds because there's a lot of driving from the power plant to the school and then power plant to the school, power plant to the school. So, we can abuse that very easily by just getting out of bounds. And it looks really cool. Oh no, I hope their plan fails. Who am I kidding? Zombies eating brains? Oh, this is gonna rock! Dad! Piece of cake! Ooh, the vibration's tickling my feet! Uh, oh. yeah, that's my the last God. of coins I have to pick up. I'm over coin, this one is bad. Later, give me Let's see, I need something to board up the window. I know! Boards! Alright! Hey, come back here! Dems are sleeping on boards! Oh. Guess I'll have to use a hog for a pillar now. Uh -oh. oh no, I have a wedgie. Oh, this is really bad. Oh. I'm so screwed. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Get out. Oh. Get on the road. Oh. <laughs> He's done it. Oh no, wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm still gonna oh, get no, away. No, no, no. Still gonna pillars. get away. The important thing is I'm not imagining these guys. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm a lean, mean, speed thingy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is unnecessarily oh spooky. <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> we're number one. We're number one. Just a few more. Mistakes were made. Well, I wish I had a hey, All right, so using the same thing as before uh, with the roads, we can Bray. abuse this mechanic here again. This one isn't as uh, as tricky as the last one because all of this doesn't register as a road. So we can just like end up back here as soon as we reset. Tickling my feet. And similar oh my to Marge, God. we're just going to complete all of the bonus and races 
um, just in one sitting because they all flow Let's together really well. Day. I'm king of the world, Mr. Smith. It's crashing time. Whoa! Here you go. I'm a lean, mean speed thingy. We have a $21.62 uh, donation from Lockjo with no comment. Thank you. Ooh, the vibrations tickling my feet. Bouncy, bouncy. Ooh, I'm soaring like a candy wrapper in an updraft. Sweet, sweet, obsessive collecting. Oh, yeah. What does he need? Everyone sucks but me. If I win this... So once again, this is also a very long race. Um, not much you can do to speed it up. You can get out of the map in some instances, but it's not fast. It's just kind of unfortunate because there's a lot of ideas that we have to skip you parts of this race, hey, you but none of it just seems race. to work well. Yeah, go for it, mate. Hey. Here's Mark. Donation, yeah. Nothing lasts forever. Um, we have a $10.95 donation from Craigle Bagel. $10 for board. Might not be saving money, but hopefully will save a life. Anxiety and depression sucks, and I'm glad my money is going to help others speak out and feel good. are fleeting. Yeah, after these races is what we're going to, what I consider to be the gauntlet of uh, Shy Runs. Um, as I mentioned before, this level features out of bounds, but we're going to be doing like a bunch of out of bounds back to back to back to back. Um, it's visually and it's, it's visually amazing to watch and it's also uh, like incredibly fun to perform. Like Almost got, got owned. <laughs> one more lap. We're almost done. And we have one more race to go, and then we're done with everything except for the story missions. Oh no! Oh. Alright. He's fine. Okay. Also, for some reason, that race there is the only one that says Brain. mission complete after it. Brain. I'm not sure why. <laughs> you just opened my third eye. What the hell? <laughs> I never, I never I noticed that. I don't know why they did that. It was such a weird thing to do. <laughs> 
Nothing lasts forever. Take that! Oh no. Alright, fuck. Ah, uh, the old moving tree. Who put that tree? <laughs> So for some I reason, the zombie that sells you the zombie I car appears the right here. If you were to look away from him, he'd despawn. I, mean, I don't know why. But now we're gonna go finish off the game. All right. Hey, you there. Sweet. Alright, so this guy has a bit of manipulation to him. He can hit a bunch of trees, hit a bunch of walls. Um, this is what the last major RNG point of the run, honestly. Um, it kind of sucks because there's a good... You can lose 30 seconds here on a good run very easily. It's its really frustrating, but that's just speed running. Exactly. I need to be ahead of him anyways. Because he can crash into this barn. And uh, if he crashes into the barn, he tends to go all the way around. Oh dear. All right. So here's our first out of bounds. This one is not very fun to do. Uh, because it's somewhat locked. But basically, you don't intend to drive to the school, but we don't want to drive to the school. What we're gonna do, we're gonna line ourselves just here. That hurt because I didn't have a good We're gonna ride up the wall. Don't knock me off, don't knock me off. Okay. We're gonna ride up the wall. That's fine, I can save this. Negative trajectory outcome. If I do this correctly. Alright, we're fine. What we do is we end up above the roof because the roof doesn't have collision. And we go all the way around. Fantastic stuff. So now we can just drive straight to the school. But uh, this uh, leads into a sequence of just continuous out of bounds over and over again. Nice alien craft. Now to just get out of the path of the tractor beam. Oh, it's sucking. <laughs> So if I were to mission warp here, it would reload this area, and I don't want that. And also, I've got to be really careful not to jump here, because if I jump, I fall infinitely. <laughs> so, that's a very bad thing. So I'm going to start the race to get my car back, and I'm going to enter this interior. I need to find... Piece of cake! Mmm, cake. I'm going to get back in my car, and because the area is still unloaded, the uh, big barrier that blocks this bit off, we can just drive straight through it and go all the way back to the power plant once again. Uh-oh, it's that black car again. Ooh, it has the speed of a stuff boss. Now, I'm going to park my car of out of bounds. I'm going to park in just the right location. That should be fine. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no! No! 
Wait, hang on. I can save this. It's fine. All right, we're good. <laughs> First try. So normally the credits music is meant to play on this, but it still plays uh, the normal music for some reason. I'm not sure why that happened. But, um... Yeah, we're just gonna make this climb up to well, Burns' uh, office. You might be wondering why I parked my car out of bounds. How am I gonna pick up the waste? Talented and good looking. How am I gonna get back to the, uh, the power limit. plant? Oh, sorry, the Ooh. school, the UFO. It's crashing time. So, I'm actually going to ditch my car. I'm gonna pick up a traffic car instead. Oh, we got Spooky Greg. I like I like Spooky Ouch, Greg. My bikini zone's <laughs> chafing. I'm gonna pick up this car. Chest pain. Having chest pain. And you know what? I actually what? changed my mind. That wasn't part of oh, the Oh my deal. car back. I lied. So even though there's no nuclear waste on the back of the car, it's actually just carrying over the state of the nuclear waste being on the back. It's just not visually there. So whatever car he's just decided to get into, it carries over to. Uh, and the reason he was able to get through the wall is because there's sort of this area you around the car you where it will just register the press action prompt. Spooky Greg, where are you? There he is, that's Spooky Greg. All right, so yeah, he carries, he takes the, no, no, come back. <laughs> Reckless driving All right, I hope I don't fall because that would be very bad. All right, so yeah, um, he brings the waste to me. I need to reset my car and make sure I'm the right height. <laughs> That should be fine, oh, I, I, I hope. My <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, that's fine. And uh, this area oh, remains man, unloaded. My car is gone. The was also the best now, Uber wow. driver ever. <laughs> Sweet. Now, I would normally drive all the way back to the power plant um, to pick up the waste, but there's an alien car that you need to spawn here for the waste to spawn in. So, I had to spawn this alien car and then lose it. This town is going to pay for this. But uh, I'm going to be doing a series of resets here. I'm going to perform this, hopefully get it, and uh, explain how it works afterwards. Oh god. Alright. I'm a lean, mean, speed thingy. One side, Roadhog Dude. Ooh, the vibration's tickling my feet. Hasta la vista, suckers. Alright. So what I did is I skipped mine. a bunch of triggers there. Um... Basically, all those resets were designed in such a way that I could skip all the triggers to load the graveyard. And by doing that, this area remains unloaded while loading in the bridge, which doesn't spawn the back of the power plant. And this also carries over to the next mission as well, which uh, lets me just drive straight to the power plant once again. Now, I just don't want to blow up my waist upon entering here, so... That has happened to me before. <laughs> So, like, almost the entirety of this level is done, like, without a map. Sayonara, dude! Why me? Where'd you get that? Let's do this thing! And one last trick here. If I don't get it, like, straight away, I'm just gonna have to ignore it. But I hope I do, because it looks cool. Now my story begins in 19 tickety two. We had to say tickety, because the Kaiser had stolen our word 20. Eat my dust! Oh, so, I'm going by hitting- to oh god. By hitting the jump zone, which is an area where you have unlimited speed for a temporary amount of time, you can just gain infinite amount, of, infinite amount of speed. And uh, this car normally has a top speed of uh, 200, oh, 180. Um, by doing that, you can have a top speed of 500. But uh, now we're just going to finish off the game. Uh, time's coming up soon, so. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely yell out when it is. Unless I blow up the waist, that would be embarrassing. I'll tear you a new corn shoot. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. Um, if you're interested in getting into this game, we have a leaderboard on speedrock.com/shar. 
and um, we Whoa, also have a Discord you can join from that. Feel alive again. Um, and of course you can ask yeah, me any questions. Helmet, and I'll I spoke too soon. <laughs> I actually have to restart the mission now because if I were to continue that, I would just crash the game. <laughs> I got owned. <laughs> so, normally what would happen is he turns like hard left, absolutely hard left, but for some reason he didn't. I've never seen that before. That is very strange. I spoke really soon. I was getting excited about finishing the run and like getting ready to pop off, but I guess uh, guess that wasn't gonna happen. Something I was also gonna say is uh, when it comes to Simpsons Hit and Run, there's tons and tons of different strategies to approach the game, to approach different missions. Um, this is a pretty standard backup ride here, but there's that the community resources you find online are really, really top notch for a speedrun community. There are all sorts of ways to tackle this game if you're interested in it. And you don't have to do all tasks, there's all sorts of different uh, categories and methods of running a, a, um, a speed game. So, yeah. yeah, we have all story missions, any percent, any percent, sorry, very Don't run any percent. 100 percent, you know, a bunch of different categories. Oh, my metal skull! Oh, come on! How about them apples? What a big idea! Watch it, I almost built my Sunday. Face King Homer if you dare! Alright, don't own me. My day, we call don't own me. Thank you. Freddy, and they cost four playing cards to bite. Another one? If I blow up the waist again, I'm giving like $50. <laughs> you know what, I'll make it Get interesting. I'll way. match that. <laughs> might be my last. Don't you deliberately blow this up. <laughs> <laughs> Look where you're going, yet, idiot. Uh... Move it or lose it. Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, go nice and easy around this guy this time. Now, why did I come here again? See, that's what he was meant to do last time. I'm not sure what happened. He means speed thingy. Oh, that was too easy. Ooh, the vibration's tickling my feet. All right, it's actually coming up this time. I hope. <laughs> oh yeah! All right. The legs and, the and mayday, mayday, we're going down. Time. Hey. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. <laughs> I uh, I did. Make quite a bit, big mistake at the end there, but you know it happens. <laughs> and uh, I I don't know what we have up next. Uh, oh, we met the glitch oh, exhibition, didn't we? Yes, we did. Sorry, I forgot about that. Uh, that fortune teller I'll just wait till right. this cutscene ends. I do end up dying in a for rescuing us all from that alien invasion. Did that really happen? I thought it was a bad dream after eating too many raw hot dogs. No, homie. You're the town hero. Sweet. And the ninja babysitters? Was that real or a hot dog dream? Hot dog dream. Ben, <laughs> fans want you outside. Ben? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, those fans. <laughs> At least our show was a success. Oh, why did we yeah, go to yeah, yeah. heaven when we died? Well, at least we don't have to sit through the stupid video game credits. No! Feel bad about it. All right, because I failed a couple of cutscenes, I actually am just gonna wa I'm just gonna use this file. <laughs> That's very convenient. That was intentional. It was definitely intentional. Nice. All right. So, first thing we need to show off is uh, I'm going to perform the cutscene glitch. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't have any use at the moment. But if you want a taste of any percent, basically restarting the mission six times and then failing it on the seventh. 
um, allows you to skip the mission. Let's do this then. That's basically what they do for most of the game. Uh, it's not very enjoyable. So, by performing Sweet. this yeah, on a uh, mission which has a cutscene after it, you get some pretty interesting Bart results. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip groove. the mission. And I'm going to mash triangle to exit the interior. And now I'm in this kind of weird state. I can't move. Uh, I can't do anything. And I can no longer unpause. Um, now this leads to a few side effects. Uh, for example, let's go to the Cola Wars. hope this still works. Alright, so there's no... There's, uh... Nothing loaded here. Like, I can talk to Ralph still. But it won't do anything. I'm like, I'm pushing the action button and it's not doing anything. But, uh, if I drive away... Time for some foot-on pavement action. Little Ralphie, It'll where start the, the cutscene. Candy makes and me now... happy, then tired. So, what are you doing here? <laughs> Two ugly monsters named Patty and Sophie. Canyonero's gone rogue. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and now Oops. I am uh, in a really unusual state of the game where my car has no driver and Marge is right there. So, <laughs> qu pressing action does absolutely nothing. But this adds on a weird side effect. Um, I showed this briefly before, but if I did it correctly... I can go through any any wall in the game. Doesn't doesn't restrict me because the game thinks I'm in a cutscene. When you're in a cutscene, you don't have collision. So it's very strange. Again, to very unusual circumstances here. They so can just walk out the quickie mart. Yeah, a couple of unusual things. Get to witness this firsthand. <laughs> my and you get to see what happens when they leave. <laughs> so yeah, there's a couple of things you can do with that. There is one in uh, level 3 where you can see Willy climbing up and then he jumps down. He's just floating in the air. It's really unusual. Um, now, uh, there's a, another glitch that we can do um, called Car Duplication. Uh, actually, it'd be better off to do this in Kangen Kodos. I don't know what it is about this mission. It has a lot of glitches associated with it. But, um... Dad. Basically, this is a frame-perfect glitch. Bart Simpson at if I get this correctly... I got it first try. Nice. Um, oh, I'm sort of in the car, cool. but I'm also not in the car. It's really strange, but Dad. if I talk to Homer... There's a second 70 sports car. Uh, it's very strange. Um, you can have a couple of interesting things happen with this. Like, uh, I think you spawn like up to 20 at once or something. But you can drive 70 sports car before you obtain it. Um, now, another thing that's very interesting about this is uh, this next mission. I'm going to be doing... Uh, I'm going to be trying to do this mission, but I'm going to be doing it slightly differently um, towards the end. Now this can have some very interesting side effects. Um, because the game doesn't remember, in this mission only, uh, what car you had last, so it tries to spawn two of them. Which is gonna, it sounds kind of, I, I honestly don't know why this would Eat pick up, city folks! What? You? Yeah. This is not good for my insurance. Yeehaw! Time to move! Oh, Ma! Play right, cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool! But Bart's still so, missing, and I'm no closer to finding him. Perhaps when I, uh, when I get to the observatory. the observatory, he seems to know everything. Except why I ever came to this jerk Waterberg. Now you're gonna see, if I go over here, my car is actually sitting right there. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cancel the mission. It's gonna keep my car there. I'm gonna warp to uh, Operation Hellfish and watch at the left side of the screen. You'll see it. Hopefully, it works. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't know what causes that one. It's very strange. Um, yeah, um, so the last thing we'll just show off is a trick called Time Skip that was discovered quite recently. Um, so by holding, uh, holding the mouse at the top of the screen, like you can see the mouse at the top there, if you hold it, the game freezes. And when you let go, the game advances. When this happens, it doesn't calculate Red collision Red properly. This is Bart Simpson requesting one pimp now, this is actually ASAP. useful in a run, but it's a oh, separate category. Cool so basically, what you can do is you can hold it, say, here, and you go right through a wall. <laughs> Excuse me. Eat my dust, dust and this is used, like, everywhere in the time skip categories. It's a very broken glitch. Um, and uh, I believe that's really uh, all I can show for the object exhibition. Uh, I hope, hope you guys enjoyed that. Ah. And enjoy the rest of the uh, marathon. Please donate.